हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज प्रियंद्र कुमार एंड टुडे वी विल लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट अ थर्मोमीटर ग्राफ और अ टेस्ट ट्यूब ग्राफ इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल सो एज यू आर सीइंग आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ ग्राफ फॉर सो केसिंग दी सर्विस लेवल परसेंटेज एंड आई हैव गिवन अ स्पिन बटन फ्रॉम फॉर्म कंट्रोल्स सो जस्ट लुक एट दिस इफ I will click on the downside of the spin button. The number is getting changed, and if I will click on the upside, then the chemical is moving towards the upside. So, friends, you also can create this. So, I will tell you how can you create this in the Excel. So, I am creating this in the same sheet. I will create in this area this same graph. So, I am taking the service table percentage. Let's say forty-five, or I will create a spin button here. I'm going to the Developer tab, Insert Controls, okay, and I will take the spin button from Form Controls. This button, just drag over the spreadsheet, just like that. Let's make it little bit of smaller. Okay, now right click and select Form Controls and the Control tab. Now we will give the minimum value as zero and the maximum hundred. Incremental change one and link cell as I one. Okay, so let's check it. Yeah, it's working. The number are getting changed. Okay, so let's create the graph for the service level percentage. So we will go to the insert and in column charts, and we will take this clustered column. So now I will click on clustered column. Okay, now a blank chart has been created here. will make it smaller okay now right click on the chart select data add series and the series name will take service level as h1 the series value will be i1 which is 37 okay click okay fine now we'll remove the legend select legend and press delete select title press delete Select horizontal axis and press delete. Okay. Now select grid lines and press delete. So we have removed legends, title, and grid lines or horizontal axis. Now we'll select the column and right click, and we'll change the gap width as no gap or zero percent. Okay. Now select now look at the graph the width has been changed for the graph so let's make it best fit okay now we'll change the axis so select the axis format axis and now we will change the minimum and maximum value so we'll take minimum value as 0 maximum as 100 100 for the service level percentage basically Okay, now we'll close it. So now let's check. Okay, now it's working. We have changed the value for the service level axis. Okay, now I'm selecting the chart area, format chart area, and we'll give the water color as no line. Okay, now no water is available for the graph. Fine. Now we will change the color of the column. So we'll select the this column, and we will give the color whatever color you want. I'm selecting this one at this time. Okay. The because I'm creating the same graph which I have created on column D and E. Okay. 
now it's working so fine now i will uh, i have to create a bottom base for this so i'll take the save and from the flow chart will take the flow chart delay this one click this one and drag over the spreadsheet like that shape is ready now we'll change the shape color from format and we'll take the same shape color which we have taken in column chart okay and we'll remove the outline we'll select the no outline from shape outline okay now we will rotate it as rotate right 90 now our base are ready for thermometer graph so now we'll put this base below the graph okay now we'll select the graph go to the view go to zoom to selection to make it bigger and now we are able to see it make it with the same size with the graph okay now click on 100 percent it is still showing some line here so we can select this press up arrow now it's looking fine okay let's check it working fine now we will change uh, we will add the data level basically select the graph add data level now the percentage of the service level or the number of the service level is available let's change the font size and bold so it's working now we will change the background color so first of all i'm changing the font color of the axis as white now i'll change the background color of the graph as black so i will select the graph right click the graph format chart area fill as solid fill and change the color as black okay so we have changed the color now we'll insert a shape rectangle and drag it over the graph okay just cover entire graph okay now let's change the color as black and right click the shape or remove the first of all the outline now we will send it back so right click the shape and click on send to back okay fine let's check it again it's working perfect now right click the spin button now it is selected move it over the shape black shaded shape okay now our graph is almost ready we just have to give uh, the uh, title okay so for giving the title we'll take the shape uh, rectangle again drag it over the black sided rectangle and we can change the outline as no outline and we also can change the shape color you can choose whatever color you want to take i'm taking this one okay or we can take also from the shape style so i'm taking this one so again i have to remove the so i will click on the zoom to the selection to make it bigger just make it adjust the size according to the below shape and we can click edit text to keep the text for this shape as service label percentage or whatever title you want to give it okay now click to the hundred percent okay we just have to format the title according to this first graph format the alignment make it bold perfect 
so now it's looking fine so graph is ready we also can change the same color for the text on h1 and i1 which we have given as a1 and v1 similarly so we can take the this one and change the color according to the a1 so graph is ready friends that is how you can create a thermometer graph you can use it in your dashboards report i hope you have enjoyed this video so please like this video if you if you really liked it and share with your friends and colleagues thank you so much for the watching the video